Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, I thought I'd take you along on a little adventure that I had with my friend Christy. Well, it's a nice and early start. It's about 10 to 7. Might be able to hear the birds tweeting. I've just met up with my friend Christy and we're going to have a little adventure. Uh, and it will be a bit of an adventure because we're getting in the water just as it's getting light. But hopefully we should see... Um, I don't think it's going to be much of a sunrise. We might see a few bits of um, nice birds and maybe maybe see the, the uh, mink that I saw again. I don't know, we'll see what we see. But it should be a nice little, little adventure and hopefully finished with a, a bacon sandwich at the end. That is going to draw us on. Well, you won't be able to tell from the background, but it has lightened up quite a bit and we can actually see quite a lot. So we're not going to be getting in in the dark and it's not such a sketchy entry. But really looking forward to this little swim. It's been a while since Christy and I have been able to go out. Albeit the uh, disgusting hour of the game that we're playing. Anyway, I think I just stood in a dog poo. That's disappointing. Ready for a Sunday morning adventure? Even with all this neoprene on, it's a little bit chillier than expected. Time to get going. Oh, or a kick in the face. Though. <laughs> Okay, let's get into the flow. They look more majestic when you're at water level than they do when you're looking down on them, don't they? Yeah. When you're looking down on them, it's a bit of a threat. Which is odd because... You would imagine it's when you're taller than them. Around, yeah. This is my speed of swim. This is amazing. But when you've got a wetsuit, even if it's just a surf wetsuit, you've got, and even more so than a surf wetsuit, you've got an element of um, bulletproofness. Yeah. <laughs> you can just scramble out if you need to get out. If we had to get out, we could get out anywhere along here. And, and the fact that we take our kit with us. Yeah. We've got a hot drink. And we've got a phone. We've got changing roads and we've got something to put our feet on. We're yeah. tilled up if anything You're happens. self sufficient, really, aren't you? Yeah. Sort ourselves out. This is some good flow. Being cold, I think, is my default position. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm used to. It's what I, like. oh, I guess, yeah. We're just trying to catch up with this flock because that would be amazing if they take off. I think at some stage we'll catch them and I'm hopeful I'll catch it on the camera. But not for a little while. Hello. Hello, Tony. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. Having a good look at a swimming pass. See ya. Oh, look at the heron. On the left. Just gone into the tree. <laughs> missed it. He's, you see the dead tree? Yep. It's the first proper tree trunk. You can see to the left of it, isn't there? Hmm. There's a black swan as well. Oh, here's oh look, there's some. Oh, we're coming up in the weir. Are we? Yeah, see the concrete? Oh yeah, I can see it. This could be where the action happens. <laughs> From the point of view of these guys. They do look like they're passing the tighter rather than moving forward, don't they? Yeah. There's a lot of ten and five ways going on. You feel like a swan herder. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll come both in together just in case. So. <laughs> in case they yeah, take off. I mean, they take off fun. But they really stand have on to your run head. between us. <laughs> Thank you. 
There we go. Oh, they're coming back over. This is getting quite close. <laughs> Their gentle hits are on the way. Looking very straight this week. <sighs> Just going to have a little float for a bit, I think. Not long till bacon sandwich o'clock. Just need to root around and find some wood. Through the middle. And yeah, I reckon. Right? Yeah. There's a little duck gate in there. What's it say? Probably about four and a half. What? <laughs> 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 That's a useful gauge then. Yeah. Nice. Now that we're back out and dressed. Time to have a little look around for a few sticks and things to use in the bush box to make our bacon sandwich. Let's go and have a scrabble around in the undergrowth. This might be enough to get going with. Oh, you got a few? Let's go and start it. to strike two of trying to make uh, a little fire. The last one didn't light and Christy's had to go because she's heading out for a day out with the family. So um, ever intrepid, I still fancy my bacon sandwich so I'm going to crack on and give it another go. Everything's a bit damp. I wonder if I'm going to get this bacon sandwich. <laughs> well, I've just had another failed fire starting attempt. The ground is pretty damp and the stuff I was trying to use to light it wasn't the driest. So that's a lesson to myself. I need to keep a bit of my kindling that I've got at home actually in the car. Um, I must have used the last lot last time. 
So it looks like I'm heading home for my breakfast, but still, it was a brilliant swim and uh, seeing the swans taking off and everything was really super. And just being in the water with a friend, chatting, just passing the time is really fun. So no bacon sandwich, but all is not lost. Well, I hope you enjoyed coming along for that little swim with us. And what did you think of it when the swans took off? I absolutely loved that. That is a phenomenal experience. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and drop me a comment. And also consider subscribing to my channel, which is full of videos about outdoor swimming. And I'll see you next time. Bye.